we start uh, the history of this fish fossil when they start looking for it. It was in the third century AD, the first to mention there's a fish on the stone, the Lebanese mountain was Zeb de Cesare, the priest of the area during the third century. He said it's an attestation of the flood of Noah. And after that, in the 18th, 19th century, when a lot of European mission, also Italian mission, who came here looking for the fossil. Myself, I'm the third generation in the family who work in this field. And uh, there's a nice story. My grandfather used to work for the French army during their occupation here in Lebanon. And they come to make ski next our, uh, not so far from our home. And uh, he used to take the ski on his uh, shoulder up in the mountain and the army uh, ski on it. And once uh, he show a fish on the stone that he find it himself to one of these uh, guys. Uh, he loved it and he gave him money more than all his day. And it started like this. And after that, he bought the land, uh, my father uh, do the same, and we are continuing this work. I studied paleontology uh, myself. And uh, they are very uh, interesting, very important, these fossils, because in Lebanon we can find uh, the best conservation for, for a fish fossil in the world. Second, uh, they are very important because of the variety of the species. We have more than 450 species identified, and we have the double not identified. The conservation, their age, 100 million years, a lot of things make them very, very known worldwide. Okay? And uh, all of them come from the mountain of Biblos. We find them at 800 meters or, uh, around above sea level, and which is the only places in all the Middle East where we find fish fossil. Uh, we can find, as you saw, all kind of life was in the sea like ray, sharks, turtle, silicant, uh, flying fish, uh, octopus, shrimps, sawfish, and everything was in the sea, we can find it in this world. Uh, now we are developing our work uh, slowly, slowly with time, and uh, we create memory of time, which becomes scientific societies that work with many museums in the world, like uh, example in Italy, Museo di Storia Naturale in Milano, in Verona, and other places. And then, uh, for us, no problem, only we need uh, that the uh, country be quiet, no war. Because the specialist uh, likes to come and to see, to touch by their hand, these fossils. Uh, but uh, the problem in our work, uh, for the pieces which, uh, which is are for sale, because if we have big partners for sale, we have to keep in Lebanon, Ten specimen from each species, and after we can sell the other. Like that, we can save our heritage and at the same time continue the excavation. Then, for the ones for sale, uh, uh, the problem it's not to find a client for them; it's to find a fossil for our client. We have more clients than uh, what do we have, like uh, materials. And thanks God, and just we need a piece uh, that the people can come to help us for research, for studies, fossils and a lot of things that we can collaborate together.